Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Nathan Alexander, and I'm an assistant professor in the department. My research is focused primarily in experimental aerohydroacoustics, so my research reaches into both the aero and ocean sides of our department. My research interests lie in several areas. Uh, recently, I've been investigating machine learning methods that will assist us in evaluation of data to determine both quality and content. One of the experimental tools I often use is microphone arrays. Uh, these are essentially large arrays of many microphones that can be used to produce acoustic images. These images define the source locations and help us separate multiple sources. I've also been working on propeller and rotor noise a lot lately. Uh, this has had a resurgence with the uh, development of electric vehicles, both on a small and large scale. I've been doing some drone noise research on the small scale, but this has also pushed me towards urban air mobility applications. I've been conducting research in the area of renewable energy for a number of years, studying the noise uh, primarily from wind turbines. I've also been researching the flow of porous surfaces as well. Now, this is application in acoustic liners. Uh, for more information, you can visit my research website, which is aerohydroacoustics.com. On the next few slides, I have some pictures of the research that I've been conducting over the past four years. Uh, so on this slide, you can see some uh, measurements of isolated propeller noise studies. Uh, these were conducted in a closed anechoic chamber, like shown here, and in our outdoor uh, drone park, uh, which is this large netted facility on the bottom left of the slide. Uh, we've also measured the noise uh, from these drones in flight. Uh, so this is a DJI Matrix 600 Pro drone that we've used for flyover tests to produce the data like shown in the bottom right here. This is a spectrogram uh, of the flyover noise. Uh, here you can see two of the microphone arrays that I mentioned on the previous slide. Uh, so these are core instruments for my work. The array on the left has 251 microphones and the one on the right has 117 microphones. Uh, these enable us to produce images of the acoustic sources like shown in the figure uh, below for a rotor ingesting a cylinder wake. You can see uh, two different studies of propeller no uh, noise shown here. Uh, these studies were focused on two uh, very different sources though. The one on the left was focused on the uh, blade boundary layer turbulence and trailing edge noise, uh, while the image on the right shows the interaction of a rotor with upstream generated turbulence. Both experiments were conducted in our stability wind tunnel, which has a six foot by six foot test section. So it's large enough to walk around in and is a unique globally recognized facility where a lot of very high quality research is conducted. Uh, we do do a small amount of uh, simulation in my group, mostly analytical, uh, but some computation, computational, which is shown here. Uh, these are some simulations showing the acoustic uh, scattering and shielding of a, an acoustic source by a nearby body. And this was used to understand the noise radiation by a propeller. Uh, a few years ago, I had the opportunity to test the design of a new noise reduction device on a full scale wind turbine. Uh, so I traveled to Denmark and this shows our device attached to the blade of uh, this turbine. Uh, I don't just take acoustic measurements though. Of course, the acoustics are tied to the aerodynamics. Uh, so these movies below, I show some time resolved PIV measurements conducted by my students to measure the turbulent inflow to a propeller downstream of a large upstream body. Uh, and the final project I'll mention today is focused on applying and improving a machine learning techniques for cough detection. Uh, so this is in collaboration with another faculty member in the department, Dr. Shane Ross. And the idea is to make an accurate cough counter to give decision makers enough data to uh, understand a community's health. My research has been recognized in several different outlets. Uh, these are just a few of the highlights. Most recently, my cough work was featured in a story on National Public Radio. A couple years ago, my work on drones was listed in Aerospace America's Year in Review. And my trailing edge noise research was featured in a Wall Street Journal article and on a television show, uh, Exploration Nature Knows Best. I do have positions available in my research group. If you'd like to talk, please contact me and please visit my website if you'd like to learn more. I look forward to hearing from you.